As you see, I'm just unboxing shit and doing all this crap. So yeah, this is amazing so far. So I'm just grabbing all the shit that I don't want and all that. I don't have any keys, so I, I have no idea how much uh, they cost anyways. So this is wonderful as well. So. I want to keep one of everything, so at most. Recycle duplicate, and I'm back at 40. 200% back at 40. Alright, so, uh, here, let's go through all the, uh, skins that I have. Um. This one was equipped, but currently got hooked off. Alright, so this is all, all the shit that I have. As you see, it's a lot and I did put money into this game so yeah and if you're saying oh why are you supporting this game it's trash uh, no it's not trash it's really quite fun I know like some of you guys are probably saying oh it is fun to a certain effect yeah it is but I wish I can um Get rid of some of this. Because I got two of them. I got the cosmetic shit here going on. So, yeah. This is wonderful as well. Didn't I say I'm back at 40? And if you're saying, oh, why don't you just, um, use all this up? Well, I'm actually saving it, but I don't want this, and I don't want this. Let's see what I'm getting. I'm getting three items. I'm getting three items. No, okay. This is a first. I don't want that damn thing anyway. <laughs> okay. So, this is the worst part, I know, like, everyone's like, um, like, saying, oh, why don't you just go to the, uh, gameplay, well, because the unboxing shit is actually kind of fun, too, in its own way, because I'm actually kind of looking so for something in this area, I'm looking for something in the steampunk area, but I'm not getting it. It's that one thing that I want, but... Oh, we're not gonna give it to you. But we're gonna give you, like, four different things. Yeah, I crashed, like, four different fucking times already, so... What did I fucking say about that other one? Look! I didn't even get this. And it gave it to me.
fuck. Hmm. I don't need this. I'm not looking for that. It's not precious or anything like that. It's, um... It's for the arm. But that's kind of it. See, I'm kind of looking for a gas mask as well, but... It's this type of mask, but different color. I already have, uh, the, the skull, the tentacle skull. It's like... It's like this, but different color. But, um, this is not, uh, this is cyberpunk, I believe? Hold on. It is cyberpunk, yes. Um, I'm looking for something, but... It's a pain in my left ass cheek. I got three. What did I fucking say, y'all? No, what? Here, let me show you all. I think, um, it's... It's glitched out because of it. See, it's like it's not like this type of mask, but it's it, I'm looking for something to um, match uh, something. But I'm not finding it. Three. So, I, it's been doing this to me all day, and I've been, so with all the fucking purples I'm getting, wonderful. So, I think it's glitched out because it wasn't giving me, um... No, it was, uh, for the other tickets. Okay, so, let me explain. So, for the Halloween tickets, I would get, um, all the Halloween shit. Like, four different fucking hats. And then everything else, and then like something else. And I finally got rid of it all. See? Like that. It gave me five different hats, and it gave me two. want to die. Not only that, I use this. I want to die. It's a diff- it's a different thing. Maybe it will stop glitching out now? Did it stop glitching out? No, it did not. You guys want to bet that I'm going to go back to 40? <laughs> Wonderful. Another shark. Okay, now we go to here. Now we're going to go all the way down here. And see if anything... Okay, so the reason why I'm not grabbing any of the any of the uh, other ones is because I got the precious uh, helmet there. So, like, say that I have something precious, like a World War One pilot helmet and goggles, I wouldn't need this, but it's not get it's not get rid of it. So I can't get rid of it. 
Also, I'm looking for this boy. I was, but I couldn't get him. It's a... I, it's something that I want, but I'm not getting it. And the reasons why I'm not getting all th these is because I already have them in the shiny form. So I have the rainbow rum head, the uh, feathered top hat, and the skull beard, precious, and the tri uh, corn hat, and the uh, goggle dreads, and the guy chomper. So yeah, I'm not really looking for those. So I can get rid of all because everything else is duplicates to me. I don't, I don't care about those. Also, I have this, and then I have that. Random note: You guys have to deal with my randomness. I'm sorry. I had steak today, and I am not a meat eater eater at all so it's rare for me to have steak or any type of meat but if you bring me to uh, McDonald's or something like that and if you don't order a Big Mac I will buy two Big Macs whenever you got a Big Mac or not I will buy two Big Macs and a Coke and a fry. So yeah, and I'm already, I'm gonna go to 40. 200% positive. Because I would use all of this. See, I don't like the, um... See, if there's, um something in here that I like I will keep it so let's say um, it was like this this color here standard then yeah I would keep it but I don't like that color I like the chrome here so why would I want to keep the standard one so it's kind of useless to me it's just a random color scheme that I'm looking for. Like this. Top hat hit here. Top hat here. See how it's red? I love that color, but I will be keep I will be keeping it because I don't have that color. Am I gonna use it though? No. Is it gonna be there? Yeah. Uh the rum head, I don't need that. I like to keep uh, everything at a one at most, but rares, I, I do not have anything that associates with rares or anything like that. I, I get rid of it because it's not, not a point to even have. And I know that they're going to be coming out with new shit and all that. E even if this year, even if it's six years old it's still a good game after all um my advice if you are what if you do want to take my advice um as you see my uh, thing there it says uh five support i have i had this game for five, for about six whole years and with each uh time i would leave like say I leave this game for a year and I come back. I'm gonna have fun, but I'm not gonna have any of the fucking levels I had. So, it disappoints me, but as well, that brings me to the point of, oh, I can be someone new instead of doing shit like that. No, absolutely not. I, I hate that idea. I am a support. I have always been a support, but you guys are like like some of you guys have been 
known for trolling and all that. And I go into a game, there are five fucking supports and no medics. I'm gonna switch to a fucking medic. And I don't care if you're a dipshit or not. And then all I hear in the background is one of the people and saying, Hey, why don't you be fucking support and get off that fucking medic shit? Um, no. So, yeah. Um, it, it's just a bad experience after a while. So, for your first games and all that, test it out. Um, do the training. See which one you like the best. The best. So... I know, like, um, you guys say that the tank is the berserker as well as the damage dealer. Um, I would say you are wrong. He is not a tank, and you should not rely on him at all. Because sometimes I'm a tank, and... I don't run the things that you guys advise for me to run. And I will show you why. Dreadnought. Increase total health 100%. So I have 200 health, and then I get Vampire, Parry, if you get Resistance instead of Parry, you are slightly mistaken on your life. You need Parry, not this fucking thing called Resistance. Uh, either is up to you for power, smash, or massacre, but, um, if you can hit, um, with smash, uh, the heads, I'm bad at hitting heads with, uh, melee weapons, I'm, I'm just bad at it, so, I would get massacre, but, then, this is all up to you. You can get uh, Berserker, Rage, or Spartan. Um, don't get Berserker, Rage. Don't get it. Whenever Zed Time activates or refreshes, heal 50% health and immobilize all Zeds. Nearby Zeds. Um, that sounds good and all, but Spartan sounds better. During Zed time, attack. You attack with perk weapons and move in real time. So, what I suggest, uh, some of you guys who are new and all that... I would suggest Skirmisher, Butcher, Parry, Massacre, and Spartan. Now, this is all up to you. This is your build. You can be a Dreadnought that can, uh, you could be Dreadnought, Butcher, Resistance, uh, Smash, and Berserker Rage. That is all up to you, but... I would still say don't just don't do that it's been a while since I've been on here and all that I know they changed their shit uh, a lot of the times uh, tactical reload yeah you want that but it says right there reload speed 
two every five uh, levels, so you would have, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. So th there's no point of ha getting it because you're still reloading fast. So you would want a uh, high capacity max. But um, I really suggest you get tactical reload at level 5 and then fall back at um, the beginning and then um, this can be all up to you but you can get prepared or more health and armor that is all up to you because uh, let's say that uh, there's something wrong and all that uh, and your team's not helping or anything like that, you would want um, more health and armor or have more ammo. It depends on which one, but it just really depends. And then at the end here, um, I would really suggest you get hollowed point rounds, but it's all up to you because you get 25% more damage at the end. So, 25% uh, increased damage if you are fully maxed, and 30% you are doing 55% damage with perk weapons. Now, um, Machine Gunner is what you want during Zed Time. If you get Technician, you wasted your Zed Time. You just wasted it. Okay, you reload fast, but... You reload fast, and you can switch out your weapons fast and all, but... Who wants that when you can have Machine Gunner? You do an do 3% damage which stacks onto hollow point and your perk damage perk weapon damage so that means you are getting a lot of fucking damage in the process of this but you can shoot three times as fast with a perk weapon during that time so that means you can refresh it fast Uh, if you already know about the support, um, don't get this shit. Do not get, uh, in high capacity mags. Because there's a build that I run that can't take any of that shit. So you want to run Tactical Reloader, um, Savant. If, if there's a problem with your team and they are dying a lot. Fortitude. Um, firepower. Do not get armor piercing shots. Do not get it. Get tight chokes. Decrease the shot spread of perk weapons by 50%. What does that mean? You are doing more damage because with each pellet is a. Um. Is 5% of shotguns. Each pellet it is that there. So you are doing a lot of damage. And penetration, you are already going to have this high, so there's no need to have greatly increased penetration with perk weapons Th there's no need of it so then you want to go to uh, your 20 year uh, either one works but if you want to be an actual teammate your teammates can get 30 percent ammo and 20 percent armor restored by interacting with you once per wave and you also carry put 20 percent more ammo with your perk weapons. Now, 
I suggest, I literally suggest you get a uh, barrage, but it's all up to you. Uh, field medic, you should know this. Solo on the right. A good field medic on the left. Also, um, it is all up to you. Um, you can change out um, advanced tech for during Z time. Your perk weapons deal damage uh, increase by 30%, and your kills generate a toxic explosion that poison zeds and heals players so let's say a crawler is on the floor you can shoot that kill them and your teammate has health during that time uh demo demolition is i don't uh use this but what you but what i've been told is that um you want the first perk the right perk not, sorry, not the right perk. Not the right perk. Fuck the right perk. You want the left perk. I don't know my left from right. You want the left. Then the left again. Then the left again. Uh, then the left again. Last one can do any of them and why I say uh, left for four increase explosion damage uh, explosion perk weapons by 25% direct take impact by 25 50% right there sirens destroy any uh, explosions but your explosions are immune to sirens screams and will always explode shoot a fucking siren in the face with that shit they will die all right and then you want to go to armor piercing rounds um either one you can get the right one if you want but it increases reaction stuns uh stumbles and knock power and all that type of jazz but um increased damage of direct hit to critical areas with perk weapons by 50%. So, I'm telling you now armor piercing rounds, bombardment, and high impact rounds. You want direct contact, you want direct hits. So that is a hundred percent critical, that is a hundred percent hits right there, if you are aiming for criticals. Also, your perk damage is increased by 25%. 25%, so that is a hundred and twenty-five percent. Also, if you go on the way down here, um, during Zed time, your explosions dish out a massive radiation damage, poisoning Zeds, and will explode and explode uh, explosive rounds will explode at any range or you can mad bomber during Z time you shoot and reload ne near real time the area of effect the area of effect of perk weapons increase 25% So any of those two works, um, I would I would say the Destroyer of Worlds, the Destroyer of wor Worlds, and um, Field Medic are god tier. Now, Firebug, I know you guys are saying, oh, Firebug sucks. Actually, you are wrong. Firebug, if you are doing 
uh, the opposite. I love Firebug, and if you say Firebug sucks, you need to be burnt with Holy Fire. Here, allow me to say this. Yes, at the beginning, you want Bring the Heat. You want barbecue. Well, sorry, not barbecue. Ground fire. Then, you want napalm. Or, you could have Zed Strapnel. And then you want firestorm. At the beginning of the game. Why? Because you have cock and burn. Cock and burn and then you want to switch on over to heat wave zed strapnel barbecue you should already have bring the heat so uh infernal nah we don't need that pyroman pyromantic pyromantic Perfect. And then, uh, if you guys know about the Gunslinger, um, I'm not gonna say a damn thing for this, because <laughs> I, I love, uh, the Gunslinger and all, but, um, I run out of ammo way too fucking fast. So, um, bullet resistance is just, uh, against any fucking guy that has bullets. But there are no people that have a uh, bullet that uses bullets. And that's where you're wrong. Who has a minigun? Besides the fucking commando. Yeah. The patriarch. And Hans. Hans um, has guns. The patriarch. And I believe the the other, the, I think the new girl, but I'm not too positive. Um, so, sharpshooter is basically the same thing as the gunslinger, but different. And I say different because XP objectives, look on gunslinger and see the same thing. Oh, look, it's the same damn thing. But different because um, Gunslinger doesn't do headshot damage here. No, that's in uh, Sharpshooter. So Sharpshooter is mainly deals with headshots. Headshots. So yeah, you want headshots. Um, SWAT, eh, it's a good one, but you're not, you are, um, you're fine, J just be yourself, SWAT. Uh, survivalist is for, like, the new, um, people, who's, like, um, new, until they get used to the game, like, this is for you to like understand the game how it works and all that but it sucks all right it sucks now if you are a field medic field medics barely shoot I barely shoot as a field medic so and I just heal my teammates and then you got the survivalist that could be anything so yeah, global damage resistance meaning he's gonna take less damage from everything. And then um, SWAT. Uh, this one uh, heavy training armor and um, if you're level twenty, assault armor. It stacks as you can see it states there so 
it's wonderful for you guys, uh, for you guys, uh, getting into this game. Didn't I say I'm already back to 40? No, oh, fuck it, I'll use this guy. I am looking in something for cyberpunk, so... No! Not become a fucking unicorn. I despise a couple things in this game. For example, that light. With the orange light there, it fucking blinds my eyes as hell. I will say this, depending on what level, say like you're a level su 5 uh, support, and you go into a game um, of Nightmare, um, one, you're not going to do as much damage as you want to. I know this of experience, I did it and I beat it as hell. Uh, Nightmare and uh, fucking hell on earth. It's one of those two. It, suicidal is okay. You can meet halfway. I do like this. I will keep it. I don't have two of them. So it's... It, it's kind of like that. Depending on what type of um, level you are, you want to stay on that. Do I have... That? I don't have that shit. So, yeah. Uh, this game is really fun to the point of I don't want to scream out my fucking ears. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to keep it because I don't have it. Just watch as I find cyberpunk shit inside and it's not actually giving me it. No, fuck you, unicorn shit. Now you guys are probably saying, oh my god. He's probably gonna be someone that's gonna butcher a, a fucking unicorn. And I have to say this to you. Like hell I would. I will put it in a pin and make sure it lives a happy life. Pin, I mean, in a pin where if someone comes and, uh, po comes and fucking hurts the damn beast, I'm gonna know of it. Because I built that shit. Oh yeah, um, also, if you didn't know, um, in Skyrim there are unicorns. So if you are wondering, oh, there's no such thing as unicorns in this game. You are wrong, because in Skyrim, um, someone quotes saying, I knit, and I stabbed a unicorn. 
with the knitting ne needle until it couldn't move. Um. <laughs> That's a funny shit. Um, killing two, killing floor two devs. I want you to take a look at this and tell me why is it like this. <laughs> no, um, what I'm actually looking for is this, but in a different color. So, yeah. <laughs> killing floor two devs, I need your help. It, this shouldn't be the way. <laughs> did I get a monocle? I did. You love me, game. I got the monocle that I was looking for, too. Shit. Fuck. So, yeah. Um... This is really fun to unbox shit and to see what you get. I'm actually literally having fun right now because I'm unboxing this shit. Even though it's their tickets and all, but... Hell, this is fun. It's annoying, but it's fun. See, I got a, a key thing. I know, like, some of you guys are saying, oh... But the gameplay would be better. Um, then again, you are right. The gameplay is better than the original game itself. But, um, I would prefer, uh, the unboxing part. Because the unboxing, it's much fun to get, to see what you get and all that. And... To know what you get is actually a lot uh, better and all. Um, I have not shown you my vault. I know that. And you probably got a glance of it. And... To tell you, it um, the glance that you probably got, you probably saw a lot of dosh in there. So Now, I will say this. Um, I play as the black character in this game because, one, I'm always proving a point. In every horror game, the black person always dies. This time, I'm making it to the point of... In every horror movie, the black person always dies first. And I don't want that to happen, so I play as the black person. <laughs> to prove my point. They deserve uh, rights too, damn it. Let them die last, or escape. No, it's always the virgin female that gets out. That doesn't die. Or, they lost their, uh, or it's a white female. That doesn't have their virginity. So, yeah. Even though I'm not black and all that, I... I respect uh, a lot of black people in my years. Even one of my friends is black. A couple of them are black, and I don't care... I even told them, I don't care what the fuck your race is or anything like that. I see you as a white person. You are white until proven guilty. Even if you committed a murder, you are still white to me. See, that's how friendship is. Now, to me... I don't, I don't give two shits. 
you view, you probably view me as a racist for this because one, I don't really give two shits. Race does not matter to me. I don't care if you are black, white, Mexican, Hispanic. Uh, I, I don't care if you're Japanese or anything like that. I don't care, you are a living being with a soul. I'm not gonna judge you because of uh, what your fucking race is or anything like that. I'm gonna judge you of your, uh, of what type of shit you do. Yeah, I am. But does that mean you have the right to judge me? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. I give you that right to judge me any type of way you want. I'm that type of man that just allows people to judge freely. I let people judge freely as much as they want to. And I, I don't care. Even my friends back in high school who even knew saying, oh, you can say any type of shit to him. He's not going to fucking care. But he will judge you. You're damn right I will. And now, I know like um, a lot of people would say that that isn't right. You have no right to judge people and all that. In fact, um, I have the right to judge anybody as I want to. And if, to the people that say that, I have no right to judge people. That makes them... crucial because they are the ones that say, oh, you can't be that. You're too stupid. How do I know this? It's because I've gone through it. Literally, I put... M See... A wise master always says, there is no try. You do. Or you do not. I believe that was, those are the words. Now, if it's not, um, you can have my head. But if you do know the words, bam, you got yourself Master Yoda. Master Yoda, um, advice. Those are the best advice to anyone. There is no try. There is a do. Or there's a do not. When he told Luke that, um, it inspired a lot of people to continue do- It inspired Luke to t continue. So, again, that means, holy shit, I got 50. <sighs> Fuck! Literally, back in um, elementary school, a lot of people um, told my mother shit, saying that he's not going to make it throughout his high school year or middle school. And I would like to say this message to you. I made it. Bitch. What are you gonna do now? Fucker. They wanted to see me fail because, um... My brain works fast as hell and I can't produce enough, um... I can't take in knowledge and then uh, repeat it. I gotta understand the knowledge first. See, everybody has a way of visualing shit. Okay? So, with me, um, my way of visualing things is different. So, in, in any type of way, war will repeat itself. War never changes, no matter what you say or anything like that. I'm quoting this off of Bethesda Games. Uh, Beth Bethesda Studios. 
because I know this. And it was war with me and the teachers because they would always find out shit that I wouldn't know. And... I was that one person that in that class was... I was confused a lot and I needed a little bit of extra help. But I was a god tier in that one class and I would be the best at it and then people would start coming towards me and I didn't like that so I started getting the wrong answers on purpose and I realized oh maybe he's, he's uh, going down maybe he needs a little help maybe he's confused that's where their questioning starts beginning and in math, I kept an, a straight 90, 80, even a 70 in there. And then when the big test came around, I got a fucking 100 on it. Nobody knew how the fuck it happened. And then they all started questioning um, teachers, um, ways. Saying, oh, he like that teacher's giving that person the benefit of the doubt. In fact, it wasn't the studying or anything like that. Um, some points I wouldn't even turn in my homework because I had a straight 90 in that class. And the teacher would say, are you going to turn that in? I said, no, I have a fucking straight 90. Why would I care? And they said, please turn it in. I said, fine, give me a 50 for it. And they said, no, I'm going to grade it. <laughs> so, at the... And then it kept on raising and raising and raising. And so, I was a bino shark. <laughs> and I got rid of it I, because I was stuck. <laughs> Damn it. I wanted to keep that, but it doesn't matter. Fuck! I don't want to get rid of that because I like the coloring on it. <sighs> Octoband. I'm getting rid of the octopus. I, I don't I don't give two shits what you guys say. The octopus is going. This is not a thing. It should not exist. It gives me three. I need to know the dev's name. Like, come on now. <laughs> devs, help me. I don't need this. Anime Planet. Uh, thank you, but I'm not looking for that. No. Is Killing Floor 2 dead? Killing Floor 2 is pretty dead and no. <laughs> wow, come on. People are, are looking at that shit.
Sevs, I need you. Come on. But as well, um, in high school, um, a lot of people were asking me, saying, are you going to achieve your goals in life? Uh, even the teachers asked me that, and I told them, it depends on my goals. And most of my teachers uh, would agree with me, saying it depends. And also, I would raise the question of, why would I need this in life? Um, so, I got pretty upset saying, why would I need this in life, even though it's fucking useless as hell? This shit is, this shit's gonna be not needed in my life. And, uh, some of the teachers even say, yeah, you're probably right. You're probably not gonna need that in life. I can tell you right now, I'm a slow fucking typer. Why? Um, I worked at it so fast. I worked on it a lot, but... It, it involves around my brain, so my brain will stop and actually think, is this the right word I need to be looking at? Is this the correct word? Is this um, correct on how it's spelled? Um, for example, um, Uh, summer, uh, sideshow prize ticket. All right, so we're gonna look at this. All right, and underneath a uh, seasonal prize ticket. So uh, let's say seasonal was in a word uh, in a sentence I needed. I would look at it, view it, and see if I needed that or not. Like, is it correct? Is it wrong? Like that, and. And when it's, uh, wrong, I would go back and look at it again, and I, it's, it's a, um, a fucking continuous loop. So, like, I would just look at it, and it hurts me and more I know like some of you guys are probably going agreeing with me saying yeah I get that too and, or saying I you just need to work on it on unfortunately I can't it's a problem with me that I only have so it's a spelling error in my head, in my in my brain, so. Uh, no one else can work on it or anything like that. Even the doctor's saying, oh, there's nothing wrong with him or anything like that. And my mother's uh, saying, there is something wrong with him. There's clearly something wrong with him. But... Um... You know how schools are saying, Oh, there's nothing wrong with him. He has 2020 he has 2020 vision. Um, excuse me, but I can't see on the other side of the fucking classroom. In the back of the classroom. And my teacher is telling me to sit the fuck down. And you're telling me I have 2020 vision? So what I what I used to do is I would bring out my phone and I said, wait, don't erase that yet. Let me take a picture of it. And the teachers would say, put away your damn phone. 
put away your damn phone. And like, um, excuse me, I use this in my everyday life. And besides that, um, this is gonna help me pass my this fucking class of me writing this down in my fucking notes. So if you're going to tell me to put it away, I want you to go get the fucking um, administrators, please. So, it was a fucking ordeal about that shit, and then a lot of people would, um, actually just said, um, yeah, you shouldn't be telling them to put away their phone if they're taking a picture of that and then copying it off and putting it in their notes. And a lot of people would actually look at me funny saying, oh my god, he did it. He got away with it. And after that, um, every time I brought out my phone, they would say, uh, they would say me, my name, I'm gonna give you an example, a speed bump. I go by a lot of different names. Uh, speed bump. I was in high school with that name, so so they would say speed bump. You're going. You are in detention later this afternoon because that you brought out your phone. I was so confused of why I brought out my phone so I can take a picture of that shit. I didn't show up to that fucking, um, detention because I knew it was bullshit. Native Strayers knew it was bullshit too, so they said, eh, you don't have to go. Don't go. And a new administrator there, uh, came to me saying, you brought out your phone in the middle of class, what were you doing on it? I said, I took a picture of a fucking board and put it in my fucking notes. I even still have a fucking picture. You know how the new administrators are, they don't believe shit. So, a lot of people want to stop me and my plan. And I say, well, fuck you too, bitch. I even cussed out a few uh, teachers once. Cussed them out a couple times. Um, all the fucking words as you can think of, and you, and if you're a parent or anything like that, you would understand because you would have that feeling too. It's just like, oh, leave this person alone. He hasn't done anything to you. Well, that's where you are wrong and correct. I may have done nothing and deserved it. But as well, so, uh, one day, um, no one, so, one day, uh, it was a senior skip day, and every senior was the beginning every senior was there at the first class and then gone for the rest of the day. That's what we did and I said well there's no one here so can you come pick me up? I was that uh, student that wanted to get this shit done and everything like that. I got I turned in everything besides I needed to go in on that I needed to go in on that day just to turn in some shit, so. I turned in all the uh, paperwork I needed and all that just to pass the class. 
and some of the teachers respected that for it, and I took my bag and left school. And if you're probably wondering, uh, oh, why did you uh, call someone to to get to pick you up? Don't you have a car? And like, hell no. Fuck cars. A lot of people uh, respect my decision on that, and I view cars uh, differently as people and all that type of jazz. Um, I, I don't like cars. And I, I don't like being in the front. I don't. I like being in the front because one, this so there's so many views I can look at the world and all that but it's also a point of view that actually hurts your brain and I noticed that and it I also noticed the fact I hate being in the front because what happens one day that someone crashes in the front I'm gonna go flying out this fucking car So you could say I have a major fear of being in a car at all times, and depending on who's driving, um, I'm not gonna like it. Let's say my sister's fucking girlfriend. Yep, I crashed.